Hello, Jan Visser here from Triple Sparrow Audio and today I'm going to show you the updates I've created for my uh, previous release libraries for contacts Universe, Vision, Memories and Nova. Last week I released the introspection library for contact and with that release I finalized the engine uh, which started with Universe. The previous released libraries have now been updated with this new engine which makes it easier to navigate for example you can easily switch between the main page and the effects page the uh, sound source selection stays on top um, it has a bit cleaner look and behind the scenes the performance has been improved so for example we have here the old vision interface which you can see is much more busy and now with the new engine I sort of created a more cleaner look, uh, which also looks a bit the same like introspection. And now all the engine have, have the same look, which should make it easier if you have more than one library to find your way to work with it. Uh, for the Fission and Universe releases uh, updates, I have made it a 2.0 version because the um, in, in that old one, like for example here, you had a switch between the main and effects page here and due to changing that to the to a single screen, I had to update all the snapshots. So all the snapshots for, for uh, the new update have been redone, sound exactly the same like uh, the earlier release. But I decided to make 2.0 version and include the old version as well, because if you still if you use that on your projects, you don't have to reload everything, and you can just use the engine from the previous one if you if you want. With each uh, release, I created uh, a batch of new snapshots. Um, there will be 20 till 30 new snapshots per update. So Fission will have uh, around 20 new snapshots, uh, Memories will have uh, around 20 new uh, snapshots, etc, etc. And I'm going to show you now a little bit how everything looks. The old engines from Memories. And new engine. So it's a bit different, but I think it's, it's cleaner and uh, it looks, in my opinion, better and easier to work with. Universe, which also had a big improvement. This is the old Universe, so also the big knob is actually really big in this one. And it was something I wanted to change to a little bit less big. <laughs> and here it's more subtle, easier. And this is the new look for the Universe. And as I said, the snapshots have been updated here as well where you can still find all the uh, snapshots from the previous one which have been redone and as well here you will find a bunch of new snapshots and as last i want to show the nova this is the old nova interface and here we have the new interface so, and a quick walk around around the interface here is um, you have a big knob here in in the in the center, which is a sort of micro control. It controls the FX, which are which you can enable or disable on the FX page. So, for example, if you enable the imager and the screamer, set some settings here. Uh, if you move the uh, mouse wheel, a CC one, and then the amount of FX applied will be shown in the uh, macro knob. We have a random button here. Um, it only randomizes the sound source groups, so it doesn't affect any of the effects or other controls. On the left side here, we have the refurb, where you can select a, uh, a bunch of convolution refurbs. You can set the amount, pre-delay, size, high pass filtering and low pass filtering, and you can even reverse the convolution input uh, response sample to create a sort of special effect. On the right side, we have the delay, where you can select which uh, tempo you want to use for your delay time, set the amount, feedback, rate, uh, ping pong effect for left and right, and to enhance the stereo field, you can also enable or disable the stereo. 
We furthermore have the AMP envelope, which sets the attack, duration, sustain, and release for the, uh, the incoming sound source uh, signal. So if you play with a slow attack, you will get a more pet-like sound. And if you play with short, you have a short attack. If you have a sample which has already a slow starting time, you can change the sample start to uh, make it start a bit further up the, uh, the sample. You can control the filter with the cutoff resonance and an envelope to, and here you can control how much, how their envelope is responding. We furthermore have some movement control here at the bottom where you can select an LFO uh, for layer one and an LFO for layer two. A drop down menu with the times you can select and the sort. And here we have an arpeggiator uh, which you can enable or disable the play, playing style and you can select here the amount of steps and here configure how you want to have it played with an octave or not and the speed etc. On the F, uh, effects page we have uh, seven effects the choral, screamer, phases, imager, flare, flanger and lo-fi and you can enable disable them and set all the settings here. And as last I want to show we have here as well going to show that a little bit um, the sample drag and drop so if you have the from the drop down menu you go to the end and you have here user zone one and here user zone two this uh, allows you to drag and drop your own sample into the engine and use it so when you see the plus sign where my mouse is hovering over that means the sample is dropped and can hear Here's another one. And you have the sample which you have loaded. And otherwise it would have sounds like. To experience a little bit to show it again. Um oh yeah, let, also let me show you how you create a snapshot so I press random here and let's say I'm happy we have here the uh, drop down menu from the snapshots and we have a save button here so you can press save and you can type here my snapshot one save it and then it will show from the drop down menu here if you want to create your own folder you simply have to do click here on the cogwheel select instruments options and then in the snapshot show this will bring you to the folder where uh, in this case the nova snapshots are you create a new folder and let's say it's my own snapshots and you simply drag and drop the snapshot into that folder close everything and then you have here your folder with my own snapshots and you can repeat the step if you have multi if you created multiple snapshots so this is a bit a quick overview of the uh, new updates and how the engine works and i hope you like the updates thank you for watching